precious ones in the joy of the Holy Spirit and in the presence of great love, I, Mary, come to bless you each one, to charge you with a ray of healing light that penetrates into the core of your being and unfolds from within you a new radiance of blessedness, of wholeness, of perfect presence, and of every virtue that for you will eventually flower from within your soul so that you may understand your eternal nature and access every light particle from your God presence that sustains you and provides for you the comfort flame, the rays of God that you require for your wonderful life. It is a wonderful life that you are living, yes. For dearest ones, and the wonderment and the awe of God's presence within you each day, lived in harmony and fruitful and spiritual work allows you as a sun being to soar, to shine, and to spread your own wings of light. The facets of your own God consciousness and solar awareness unto all. When you think on me or of any Divine Mother, we come with our radiance and we spread our wings of light to enfold you in the radiance of God's joy. One day, dearest ones, you too will understand through your own eternal nature how you may spread the wings, the pinions of light that flow forth from many sacred centers within you to in turn bless others and provide the radiance of your essence to them through many godly acts, kind and generous words, through loving intentions and conscious decisions, through works of holiness and the graces that you access from within your soul. For those who truly require healing at the deepest levels of being, we provide an answer, and that is for you to serve others. For in the process of giving and of emptying yourself in that sacred act, Light flows through you 
and then your healing may ensue magically, almost unbeknownst to you, for you see when you are centered within your work, there is no time or space or attention upon anything within that is less than God or unwhole. You are involved in the process of light and life itself. And in that moment of selflessness and givingness, you too are raised and made whole in your eternality. Blessed ones, you know this to be true, for you have felt it. And when you have engaged at a level of surrendered givingness, of conscious acceptance of the fruits of the Spirit that are yours to provide others, you know that there is no distance between you and the divine, for you are divine, and in your divinity there is only perfection, beauty, and wholeness. Those who focus upon their ailments often recreate in their own world that which is, as I see it, untrue. For they are not tapping into their own higher truth by giving assent to unreality at a certain level of vibration. Therefore, it would do you well, dearest ones, to simply abide with those temporary constraints that you may experience within this world and pour love through your heart to all life. For in that sacred act, as I have said, you too experience your oneness, the grace of God, and miracles may even ensue for you for your own greater soul healing. This service, wherein you have sung from the depths of your hearts to the Eastern deities, and then intertwine these bhajans with a Hail Mary on behalf of the children of love, is a sacred service that many of you may choose to repeat often, weekly if you desire, in order that greater skeins of light from the heavenly hosts and many who assist me and Raphael in our work may come into your auric field, may work with your soul and your higher self to truly win from within you your own selves for God, whereby you may be recreated again and again in the higher image of your solar presence and accept finally 
that you truly are a cherished son or daughter of God. In this blessed state of being, I leave you and my angels will continue to anoint you and if you choose to come to Fatima this night, we will perform a sacred act on your behalf, each one, for the nurturing of your soul, for the bathing of your being in light, in sacred pools of crystalline, aqua teal light. And in the morning, you will know a new freshness and a sense of your own purity and cleanliness in God's embrace. Yes, dearest one, this is our gift to you, each one. Come and receive our heart's love and be whole. Yes, be whole again in God. I thank you.